10 questions. That's all that stands between you and earning your community a slice of nearly $1.5 trillion in federal funding. But as CBS 17's Holden Krawicki shows us, North Carolina may have as much to lose politically as it does financially. If there's someone at your door, it could be opportunity knocking. This census, like every census, is really the foundation of what we do for the next decade. But like many things in 2020... It's becoming more complicated than I think we ever anticipated. Originally, the 2020 census was supposed to end July 31st. This is a very unusual census. The pandemic has obviously made things very challenging. The pandemic pushed the end of the census to September 30th. But after a last-minute change, a lawsuit saw that date pushed back until Halloween. There are almost always lawsuits with respect to the census. However, Rebecca Tippett from the University of North Carolina Carolina Population Center says there is good news as more North Carolinians are counted. We're talking about North Carolina getting $44 billion a year in federal funding. So every person that we do not count appropriately risks our fair share of that. It jeopardizes our um, congressional seat. Um, and that's just at the state level. That's why as we inch closer to election day, she says it's important that we make our voice heard before we head to the ballot box. The census is the most democratic and inclusive activity we do as a country. So I personally am a little bit more biased to think that the sense completing the census is maybe just a little more important than voting, but they're both really important. That's why we've included more information on the 2020 census and how to recognize census workers from a scam on our website, cbs17.com. In Raleigh, Holden Krawicki, CBS 17 News.